Good morning, folks. Today we're going to hit a very large earthquake, an excellent paper on pre-earthquake electromagnetic signals, and there are several space weather items for us to hit as well. So we start with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find that there continues to be minor pops associated with M-class solar flares. It doesn't appear any of these were tremendously powerful or released CMEs. The best candidate for that was on the south near central longitudes, but in closer review of it and of the SOHO coronagraphs, it does not appear that this localized clearing of plasma made it out of the corona. We have several sunspot groups on the disk again today, with the two in the center being the largest. One on the right is growing quickly, but for now the magnetic complexity is found in the left group trailing it. You can see the polarity collision potential in the middle where blue and red are in close proximity. That's a delta class sunspot, could make more larger flares today. Of course, tomorrow we have the expected CME impact sequence. NOAA is forecasting a level 1 KP5 storm condition, a minor event. We'll likely get the morning show out tomorrow before those impacts begin if their models are correct. We'll have eyes on it. Top quake of the last few days just struck Chile, 7.4. Big rumble, but luckily down deep once again, this striking the low velocity zone more than 100 kilometers down, minimizing the surface shaking. No major damage reported yet. And last but not least, what is probably the 300th paper on pre-earthquake total electron content in the atmosphere, this time for big quakes in Africa. As with similar studies in the past, they found relevant signals up to a few days before the big shake, with the express call here to monitor preemptively in order to be able to warn of the impending seismic event. That would be nice, wouldn't it? We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.